A very good evening to all of you. I hope you all are doing good. We will be starting the session very shortly. I request all of you to please share the joining link with your fellow friends, your classmates, so that they can join the session as well. Hi, Savita. Hi, everyone. A very good evening to all of you. We will be starting very shortly. Once again, I request all of you to please share the YouTube link, link with your fellow friends and classmates and ask them to join. Hi, Sarita. Good evening. I'm good, Sarita. How are you? I'm doing good. There is a poll on your screen on the YouTube chat. It's a request for you all to fill that poll to answer because that will be helping us to understand if you guys are enjoying the session, if you're excited for the sessions or not. Very good evening, Yash. That's great, Sabita. So we will be starting very shortly. Today's session is going to be very, very interesting. We are going to have, we are going to make a remote control robot. So it's going to be very interesting. You all, I hope you all are very excited for this session. We are also going to have a little recap of yesterday's, uh, of the training session that we had day before yesterday. Good evening, everybody. All right, so let's start. So this is session eight of Codeva 2022 training sessions. So I hope you all are very excited as we all are to take this session and move ahead so that we can see some exciting projects coming from you guys for this competition. So starting up, I want all of you to please join the Telegram group. If you haven't joined the Telegram group, please join the Telegram group using the link that is in the chat box. You can use the link that is in the description box or you can directly scan the QR code on your screen. You have many options, but I request all of you to please join the session because this will be very helpful for you as you will be getting all the support and updates here in the Telegram group only. So join the Telegram group for regular support and updates. Very good evening to all of you. Moving forward, I'm going to play a little video which will be giving you guys a little overview about Codeva 2022, what the competition offers, how you can participate, what projects you can make, and other necessary details for the competition as well. So I request all of you to watch this video very carefully so that we all are on the same level and giving our best for the competition. For the fourth consecutive year, bringing you the biggest international AI and programming competition for kids. Codeva 2022 International 4th Edition. To make kids aware and inspire them to brainstorm over emerging issues, to make the world a better place, kids need to build solution-based projects on the following theme. Save the environment. Strengthen the health infrastructure. Revolutionize the agriculture. Automate the surroundings. Make smart transportation system. You can make anything and everything you want. From stories to games. From software based AI projects to hardware based projects. Pictoblocks, an international AI education and coding platform. You can learn to code, make interactive animations and games, interesting projects based on AI, 
program actions for robots and much more. With Pictoblocks app now available on Play Store, you can even make your project for the competition on the go. Anyone above 7 years old and falling under 3 age groups can. Yes, you can either participate as a one-person army or in a team of two with your coding buddy. Follow these three easy steps to participate. Register by entering the team details on the contest portal. Prepare to enhance your coding and AI skill via self-learning material and AI boot camps. Now that you have the skills required, it's time to show the world what you have got. Submit your project brief, project file and the project video. Now all you have to do is sit back and wait for the results. Registration for Codever 2022 International starts on 10th of October. The last date to submit your project is 10th January 2023. You can register anytime between 10th of October and 10th of January 2023. The winners of Codeva 2022 International will be announced on 31st January 2023. Participants stand a chance to win more than 60 prizes worth $20,000 in total. Along with the cash prizes up to $1,000, all the winners will also receive a medal, certificate and the official Codeva 2022 AI t-shirt. Participate in the biggest online AI and programming competition for kids with more than 3 lakh plus participants, 1000 plus schools, 1 lakh plus teams from 90 plus countries. So, what are you waiting for? Registration starts today. So I hope this uh, video gave you a little overview about Codeva 2022 and provided you with the necessary details that is required for the participation. Moving forward with today's session, first of all, we are going to get a recap of everything that we learned in previous session about robotics. So starting with, we learn what exactly a robot is. So a robot is a machine that is designed to carry out any task. There are tasks that a robot can do, but a human cannot. Task going, touching the sun, going to Venus, paying a visit to the Jupiter Great Red Spot, exploring the volcanoes, the exploring the uh, marina trench. All these things humans cannot do. This is what robot can do. This is where robots come handy because they are machine that is designed to carry out tasks, decrease the workload from human beings and save our energy. That is why we built robot, right? So we made the cleaning robot, which were used to, which, which are used to clean your house. They will map the whole entire house the uh, where the most of the dirt is found in the kitchen or near the entrance and they will take two or three rounds there only so they learn according to their environment robots learn according to their environment and they carry out the task so if you ask that a computer or a calculator can be a robot that's a simple no because Computer calculator are not analyzing their environment and working on the task. They are just directly working on the task, doesn't matter what. The calculator is working whenever we are, you know, asking it to work. Whenever we put numbers, we, you know, do calculations. The calculator gives us output. Doesn't matter if it's night time if we are in a jungle if we are at a beach doesn't matter at all the calculator is serving and doing its job same for computer we have laptops which we can take anywhere we want people take laptops for hiking because they edit their videos there they edit photos there that they click 
So laptop is not saying that I am feeling cold. I won't do the work. It's you know you are at a very high altitude. So laptop and calculator are not robots because they don't analyze the environment. They keep on working whenever we command them to do so. Therefore, they are not falling in the category of robots. Though they are a machine, Ro robo the robots are machine that are carried out the task analyzing the environment but computer and calculator they are a machine that are carrying out a task that is commanded by us that we ask them to do we ask the calculator to give us the output of 5 plus 50,000 it will give the output I'm just saying the random numbers giving you example don't mind then the same for computer we ask the computer that give me the list of all the students that are there on the YouTube live it will do that Show me the anal analytics of the YouTube live video, like how many participants participated, what was the chat rate, for how, what was the watch time in total, what was the peak viewers in the whole entire session. It will show me that, how many views were there. So what the computer is and the calculator is doing, they are carrying out the task that is being commanded by us, but robots, they are carrying out the task and uh, after analyzing the environment. Curiosity Rover, one of the biggest examples that we take almost every day. Because it is a robot, Curiosity Rover is carrying out task uh, after analyzing Mars environment. Parker Solar Probe was, uh, was carrying out task after analyzing the environment around Sun. So there was a probe, I forgot the name, sorry, but there was a probe that was sent to Venus. It survived there for nine minutes, nine whole minutes. But us humans cannot survive for a second because of the pressure. We will be crushed. So robots are designed in such a way that they decrease the human load. They make the task easy and they can do anything that we ask them to do so. And they analyze the environment and then they do the task. Okay, so I hope the difference between the robot and the, um, the simple machine is clear to all of you. All right, so now we are coming to the application. What exactly are application of robotics or robots? Robots are fine in, you know, they can be fine in any place at any field. So I request all of you to please put down some of the fields where you see robots nowadays. You can tell me where I will give you examples. So robots are there in military also in hospitality service also. So I want all of you to give me a few examples where you see robots, where you think robots are going to serve and do better work than us human beings. I'm waiting for your answers. Robot teacher, great Rita Devi. I want more example, guys. Come on. They are they are found in hotels, restaurants, science lab, factory. Yeah, correct. Robots are there in factory hotels. Five star hotels, they are in class. Okay. Yeah, correct. So they are found everywhere we go. Restaurant, or they can be used as firefighters also. Very good, yes. In lab, right? Military, very good. Hospitals, very good, Rita. Factory, yep. So yeah, they they are found everywhere. Nowadays, robotics is taking over the world. They are in hospitals, teacher, factory, hotels, right? Amazing. Great answer, all of you. So yeah, now let's come to the application of robots and robotics. 
they are found in industries as most of you said they are found in factories yep they are found in factories they can be used for painting manufacturing welding assembling packaging so they can be used for used in industries also a lot of big big factories like palaji factory there we have uh, you know we had a trip when we were younger we had a trip field trip at palaji factory we visited a car factory also it was uh, tata mahin tata factory tata car factory we visited that though i am uh, i don't know that much about cars but seeing those machine working like thousand times faster than us human beings that made me realize that wow the technology is going and you know taking big steps each day not just every year each day they are taking big steps so yeah they are found in industries then space so in space i told you guys we have talked a lot about the most famous rover that is curiosity rover we talked about parker solar probe the venus probe that was sent on venus it survived there for nine whole minutes giving us the most i would say amazing data that shocked the scientists the amazing pictures the amazing video clips that were sent by that probe that shocked all of us so in space also robots are there robots are used because us humans cannot visit each and every planet till the time we visit that planet we will be over or till the time we step on that planet we cannot survive because we we don't know what can we find there we can we there is no water no oxygen the gravity is different than earth's gravity so yeah there are a lot of uh, places where only the these kind of rovers and probes can go for space exploration in outer space then yeah a lot of you said hospitals also so yes there are robots that are used in hospitals for surgery for pharmacy so last year uh there was a kid who won the first prize in kodeva he won the second time so what he made he made a pharmacy robot he made a pharmacy robot he named it as dexter what that robot will do that robot will ask how are you doing will capture your face that okay this is vivek whenever i go near that doctor dexter that doctor will greet me that hi vivek how are you and then and uh, i will say that i am having a fever then that that doctor will ask me few more questions my age and everything else and then the doctor will give me medicines so that 7 6 7 year old kid made that using picture blocks a pharmacy robot so guys you have vast variety of projects application hardware projects storytelling projects that you can make for this competition the competition is going to be very high this year so i'm very excited to see all of your projects coming back yes in hospitals also robots are there then we have transportation self driving cars guys tesla i i was you know i was hoping that uh, some of you may answer this tesla cars uh, tesla cars are very famous nowadays uh, you know indians are also trying their best to uh, you know make the automatic cars or self driving cars so they are used in transport also then agriculture so in agriculture one of you said that vasudha said that sir it, it is helpful for farmers also correct vasudha robots are helpful for uh, in farming in agriculture in cultivation fertilizing the crops cutting down the crops picking the fruits so there are a lot of factories where you know i watched one show on discovery a uh, factory made i guess the show name was and they were showing the how they make kisan ketchup so the machine picks out best tomatoes from the field 
then it goes in a machine and that machine that robot what that robot do that robot selects out the best tomatoes and it will throw out the like the one which are uh, maybe cut from somewhere they are not that good as others and they are you know not rotten not properly rotten it will be thrown out they will be gone out for um, maybe fertilization or maybe um, to create uh, you know to feed animals also for cows or some other animals but that robot is was doing that work that us humans can do but it, the robot was doing that work 100 times faster than us like in seconds the robot was throwing out the bad tomatoes and it was like how I, even i cannot see if, if that is the bad tomato or not in that milliseconds but that robot was doing that so yeah agriculture this is where robots can be used when we have military one of the most amazing robot that we nowadays we have is the bomb discarding robots and drone explorations if you if you must have seen uri movie of vicky question they used a drone in that right then we have bomb discarding robots because you know whenever you you know humans are gone out for or military people go out for defusing the bomb there are chances that you know something something might go wrong but if we send a robot the the calamities the human calamities can be lowered down and the, nobody will be in danger the robot can be controlled via remote so this is where remote control robots come in handy and we are going to make one today as well then household they are used in cooking cleaning washing we have talked about that disc shape cleaner a lot of times that disc shape cleaner maps your entire house goes around the entire house charge itself clean you know clean the brushes the tentacles that is there in that cleaner itself yes it charge clean clean your house itself you don't have to do anything you just have to buy it plug it in it will map out the whole entire house go everywhere clean two two three times a day and your house will be cleaned so robots are there in household also entertainment a lot of you have used mobile phones computers robot dog robot dogs so all of these are robots then we have uh, one of the most famous robot that uh, one of the most famous i would say robot that we use remote control cars they are used for entertainment purpose also and you can say that today we are turning quirky in a remote control car only so yeah robots are there in all these in, um, fields so i hope this is clear to all of you So moving forward, now coming to robotics, we also in the last session, we talked about robotics, what exactly robotics is. So robotics is actually the study of robots, the assembling, the construction, operation, programming, putting down the sensor, wielding, everything, design, everything that, you know, involves things about robots comes under or falls under robotics because it is called as the study of robots and what are the what is the major role of robotics the major role of robotics is to decrease the workload of human beings assist human beings help human beings and do that work which human beings cannot do going out for space exploration going in the depth, in the sea, uh, the deep sea explorations, the marina trench explorations, touching the sun, surviving on Mars for years without food and water. That is what robots can do. And that is something that shocks us till the day that the technology have gone that far that robots can now do all these things. So robotics is the study of robots which includes designing, construction, operation, programming, as well as usage of robots. I hope that is clear to all of you. 
So now let us understand everything about this cute little robot that we have over here, which is popularly known as Quarky. So we are going to understand everything about Quarky right now, and then we will be moving forward to the activity. So what exactly Quarky is? First, let us understand that. So Quarky, I would say, is a board with a lot of features in which uh, by you can use those features to make exciting projects. You can make expressions, you can play sounds, you can <clears throat> detect touch, and much more. In the upcoming, excuse me, In the upcoming sessions, we will be making touch-based lamps also. Touch-based lamps are going to be very cool. I'm very excited for the second phase of this training session, which is going to start very soon. So yeah, these are uh, then, then let us look at the components of Quarky, what all Quarky offers. So this small little board has everything that you see on the slide, on the picture and on my camera. This is what this board offers you. So we have Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and one of the most amazing thing that is short circuit protection. So we have all of these in this small little board. So I request you, I'm just going to tell you one thing that is for this activity, we are using Quarky robot. We are using Quarky board, but you can use any other board that you have okay for the competition and if you don't want to use any hardware there is no problem you can use pictoblox application and make great projects as well don't worry if you don't want to purchase any hardware for this competition you can directly code in pictoblox and do the activities and submit a project but if you want to you can purchase quirky you can purchase any other board that is compatible with pictoblocks so how you can see you can go in uh, on the official code ever website scroll down on the guidelines you will see the number of the number of boards or hardware that you can use for this competition you can use quality evi micro bit arduino esp32 t watch boffin mickey mickey and lego as well so you can use all of these with picture blocks. So yeah, and once again, I'm telling you, it is not compulsory to use hardware, but if you are planning to do so, you can use these. Okay, moving forward. So now uh, you can see that on my screen that these are the number of projects, various number of projects that you can make using the small little quirky. You can make horizontal robot, vertical robot, edge detector robot, ripper robot, pick and place robot, and all of these robots are amazing. And they're not just these, there are just nine types over here on the screen, but you can make many more using Quirky. So I hope that is clear to all of you. So now coming before coming to the activity, I request all of you to download Pictoblox application in your device. So if you haven't, you can click on the link that is shared there in the description box with you, or you can click on the link on the live chat, or what you can do is you can open your web browser, type download Pictoblox, click on the first link that is thestempedia.com. It will open this page for you. You can select your device, Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Android, iOS. You can select your device and download the Pictoblox application because that is where you have to make your projects for this competition. All right, now moving to the activity. Today, we are going to make wireless C control robot. So what we are going to do is we are going to use mobile phone to control the quirky. So that is what we are going to do. So we will be using mobile phone to control the quirky. It's like making a wirelessly controlled robot, which we will be controlling using our mobile phone. So yes, we will be coding in mobile phone today. So this is an overview. This is how everything will look like. Once we are done, you can see that we are moving quirky with the arrow keys 
in our phone. So now let's try to understand the logic behind the activity. Then we will move to the code. So the logic is very simple. Whenever we are pressing the up arrow, we want the quad key to move forward. Whenever we are pressing the down arrow, we want the quad key to move backward. Whenever we are pressing right or left arrow, we want the quad key to move right or left. And if we are not pressing any of the arrow, we want the quad key to stop moving. The, the logic is very simple. It's only that whenever you are clicking on any of the arrow, moving or uh, facing any of the direction, the quad key will move in that particular direction only. And if you are not pressing any arrow, the quad key will not move. So suppose if you are pressing the forward, the up arrow key for two seconds, after that you are not pressing any key. That means after moving forward for a few seconds, quad key will stop moving. Right? So yeah, this is the uh, logic behind this activity. So now I'm going to move forward and I'm going to share my phone screen with all of you. Before that, if you have any doubts, you can ask in the chat box. Yes, you can install it, uh, it via Play Store also. Renuka Korki can speak, but not everything that you want it to. All right, so I'm going to share my phone screen. So my phone is connected to the laptop. So yeah, that is better for all of you. And yeah, I hope you can see my phone screen. So if you, after downloading Pictoblocks in, in your phone, what you have to do, you have to directly open Pictoblocks application, click on my space over there, you have to click on the plus icon to create a new project. So this is the new project created for you all. Now, before moving forward, what we want to do, we want to connect the core key with our mobile phone. For that, you do not require any Pictoblox link. You, all you need is Bluetooth in your mobile phone. So turn on your Bluetooth in your mobile phone, make sure it's turned on right over here. And then what you can do is you can directly connect your core key. How to do that? Let me showcase it to you. First thing, you have to select your board from here. So click on this icon, select the board as core key. So you can see these are all the boards that you can use. So we have all of these boards. Okay. After this, you have to click on this icon next to the board icon. Turn on your core key. And you can see that the core key is detected when you so after you turn it on your core key, you can see that the blue light is coming up. But once you click on connect, it will play a sound and the blue light will turn into green. All right. So that means the core key is connected. Let's check it out. Okay. Let's scroll down and you can see all the core key extensions are there on my phone. So let's display some animation. Let's display no the animation. So yeah, you can see that core key is connected. It is working perfectly fine and displaying no the animation. Though the okay, let's set the brightness to 50 so that you all can see. Yep. Or maybe lower. So yeah, I guess now you can see it's a no the animation. Okay, now let's clear the screen. You can directly drag this block and clear the screen so that clear the screen is now cleared. Now coming back to the activity. So what we have to do is we want the core key to move forward whenever we are clicking on the up arrow. So for that, what we have to do, we have to go in control palette, grab the if then block. One thing, we don't have that much space in mobile phones to code. So what you can do is you have a very good option 
by which you will get a lot of space. You can click on this I icon and hide the stage. That's it. If you want to show the stage back again, you can click on this first icon. So yeah, this is how you can hide and show the stage. Let's hide it for now because we don't need it right now. So what we are going to do whenever we are pressing the up arrow key, we want the core key to move forward at speed of let's say 100% only with for just one second. For that, what we will do, we will go in sensing, grab when the up arrow key is pressed, what we want the robot to do. We want the robot to move forward. So for that, we have to go in the robot palette, grab the second block, which is go forward at the speed of 100% for one second. All right, so let, let's just test it out. So for testing it out, what we have to do, whenever we press on the green flag, we want it, the condition, we want the condition to be checked until we stop the execution of the code. Right. This is uh, this is the basic rule. So for that, what we have to do, we have to go in the control palette, grab the forever loop and place the if condition inside the forever loop. Then what we want to do, we want to grab the when the green flag is clicked. So whenever we click on the green flag, it's going to check the condition that is whenever we press on the up arrow key it's going to go forward. And if we don't press any key, uh, it won't do anything. It won't make any movement. All right. So let's check it out. So what we have to do, we can directly click on the full screen. Over here, you can click on the full screen. Let's click on it. Now you can see all the arrows are there on your screen. Okay. Now let's move core key forward. I'm going to show core key to you in just a second. Changing my camera view so that you all can see. So I'm having my phone over here connected to my laptop. It is there. The same screen is um, here on the YouTube light and the core key is connected to my mobile phone. So now you can see that my phone is connected. What I'm going to do is I'm simply going to press the up arrow key and the core key will move forward. All right, let's do it. Okay, first green flag, of course, sorry. Look, I'm pressing the up arrow. It moved for one second. And when I'm, I'm not pressing any key, it is not moving. But whenever I press the up arrow, it is moving. So this is how the core key will move. So what we have to do, we have to code for the rest of the part also. I'm going to turn you back so that you guys can see me. All right, so let's code for the rest of the part in the mobile phone. So we can just stop the execution and exit the full screen. And okay, so let's decrease the time over here because I could see that the core key is moving more than one second. The reason is this that the core key is moving for uh, one second, but at the speed of 100%. Let's not decrease the speed because we like speed. Let's decrease the time. So let's make it 0 0.5 seconds. Okay, we will test it out later. Now we have to code for rest of the keys. So if we press the up arrow key, we want it to um, go forward. That is done. But we want if we press the down arrow key, we want it to go backward. If we press the right arrow key, we want it to go right hand side. If we press on the left arrow key, we want it to move to the left hand side. That is what we have to do. So for that, what we can do, we can go again in the control palette, grab the if then block go in sensing grab key pressed and choose down so whenever we press on the down arrow we want the core key to go backward so we have to go in robot palette grab the second block and choose backward for the speed of 100 percent but for 0 0.5 seconds now let's duplicate this these two blocks so it's duplicated Sorry, and we can place them underneath here. Select the right arrow. When the right arrow key is pressed, we want the robot to go right inside at the speed of 
100% for 0.5 seconds. Now let's go for the left hand side. If the left key, left arrow key is pressed, we want the robot to move to the left hand side at the speed of 100 for 0 0.5 seconds. The code is done. So this is what the whole code looks like. So this is how it will look like on my mobile phone. This is how it will look like on my mobile phone. And this is how we are going to save it. Now let's look at the steps to save the code because uh, some of you were facing issues. So what you have to do is you have to click on this icon over here, which it is already saying, don't forget to save. Click on it, give a file name, let's say wireless robot, click on done, click on save. Project has been saved. That's it. Now I'm going to test my script. So I'm going to turn you back this way so that you can see the robot. All right, I'm using my mobile phone. As you can see, I'm placing the robot here. Now I will be clicking on the full screen, clicking on the, okay, I have by mistake. Okay, now I'll be clicking on the green flag and I will press the arrows. If I press the up arrow, it is moving forward. So you can see whichever arrow key I'm pressing, the core key is moving in that direction only. So if I press the up arrow, the core key is moving forward. If I press down arrow, the core key is moving down. If I press left arrow, you can see core key is moving left hand side. If I press right arrow, core key is moving right hand side. Yep, so you can see it is going at a good speed for a good amount of time and it is working correctly. So this is how you can make your own remote control robot. So remote control robots are used in a lot of fields like industry, they are used in military, they are used in many more areas. You can make your own remote control robot or you, know, you can take an idea from these kind of robots and make your own robot or hardware based project that can be remote controlled using PictoBlocks or any uh, using PictoBlocks, Corky or any other board. So yeah, I hope that uh, this activity is clear to all of you. I'm open to all your doubts. So how to duplicate? Um, you, you can simply duplicate like this. Let me showcase it to you in just a second. Suppose I'm adding the weight block. What I can do is I can hold, press, hold, and click on duplicate. Long press, click on duplicate. This is how you have to duplicate, okay? I hope that is clear to you. All right, so how uh, much it may cost? Uh, for this uh, Sanvi, Renuka, and others, you have to visit the website that is thestempedia.com. So I'm going to showcase it to you just a second. So if you visit the website thestempedia.com, over there, you can see the products. You can see the Corky. You can see the EY starter kit. You can see the robotic arm kit, the agri tech kit. There are a lot of products that we have. So you can just click on it. It will open in just a second. Yep, so you can see there are a lot of products that we have over here. You can buy them according to your needs. Once again, there is no uh, compulsory thing that you have to buy a board to make a project. But if you are interested, then you can go for a hardware project. But it is not compulsory as you have many options as well. So yeah, that's it for today's session. I hope you were able to understand everything. You were able to understand um, all the concept very well. You were able to understand how to connect 
core key with your mobile phone, how to save project, how to code in a proper way, in an easy manner. So yeah, that's the sound that core key got disconnected. So yeah, that's it for today's session. Please fill the attendance come feedback form. It is there in the description box if you're watching this video after we are done with the live session. So please fill the feedback form. You can, the people who are live here with us, you can click on the link that is shared to you all in the chat box. You can click on that link, fill the feedback form, scan the QR code. You can choose any of these three option according to your convenience and filthy feedback form because this feedback form will help us to understand that how we are reaching you how you ex how much of excitement you guys are having and if you're able to understand everything or not and i'm telling you the next phase is going to start very soon i'm going to tell you that the next phase of the training session is starting from 6th of november 2022 so the next day, uh, the next phase of the training session is going to be more amazing. We are bringing more projects related to Quarky, Picture Blocks, and giving you more ideas for this competition. So I hope you enjoy the session. So that's it for today. Thank you so much. Bye bye.